It really doesn't like me. About a year ago, I did a video on robotic pets, the Furby, Robo Cheap Pets, the Eye Dog. It's safe to say I'm a big fan of these things. We all know the Furby is a bit creepy, but its concept is really cool. It takes the simplistic pet raising mechanics found in devices like Tamagotchi and replaces the screen with an electronic toy that's just lifelike enough you can become attached to it or decide you don't trust it. While toys like Furby and Robo Cheap Pets absolutely killed at retail, they were sort of flash in the pan style fads. Video games had a major impact on the toy industry around this time, and one of the biggest effects was the ever shrinking age range where kids were actually interested in toys. Toys had to evolve beyond just kids and into new territory, and at the forefront of this kind of innovation was Canadian toy company Wowee, who, with design help from a former NASA scientist, developed a really impressive line of robotic toys, starting with Robo Sapien. Robo Sapien was marketed as the robot with a personality. He burps and he farts. Wow. E toys. With a complex range of motion and satisfying learning curve, Robo Sapien and other Wowie toys became a smash hit, appealing to both young and old enthusiasts. I wanted one of these so badly, the number of times I'd be in the mall and see them walking outside of the Sharper Image or the Discovery Channel store was way too high to count. I would just stare at them longingly. I mean, I knew they were expensive and I never bothered to give, you know, the old child try to get my parents to buy it for me because I knew the answer would automatically be no. So let's play with some robots because robots are pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks to Trade for sponsoring this video. Trade personally curates coffees from the nation's top roasters and delivers it straight to your door. Just how much do I like coffee? Well, about as much as any other person, I guess. I struggle finding my perfect cup of coffee because when I'm browsing, I usually just go with the same adequate brand over and over again because I really don't know how to describe my preferences. Trade solves this problem with a personalized quiz, which asks questions about your taste and brewing preferences to match you with coffee from a wide variety of different roasters. I like dark, chocolatey coffee, so Trade paired me with a few options. You can even choose from getting sent whole beans or coffee grounds ground to a specific consistency depending on the brewing preference you like. I like doing pour overs because let's be honest, it's aesthetic. You select your delivery frequency and the coffee is sent to your doorstep fresh from the roaster, which is perfect right now because I'm sure I and many of you want to uh, limit how long we spend browsing at a grocery store. Trade has helped to really bring back a lot of excitement into my coffee routine right now. And the best part is you can rate and repeat your matches so Trade can continue to pair you with the best coffees you'll love. So if you're interested in upping your coffee game, click the link below to get 30% off of your first bag when you sign up. Free shipping is included. Thank you again to Trade for sponsoring this video. While Robo Sapien was released by Wowie Toys, it was developed by former NASA robot physicist Mark Tilden. Tilden was tired of working on robots for NASA that would go to space only to be doomed to be destroyed, and he found the idea of working on toys to be creatively interesting because his skills in robotics could open the door for that science fiction promise of the future where robots are a common presence in our daily lives. Tilden is responsible for most of the robots developed under Wowie, which gives the whole line a specific feeling, aiming for particular innovative goals with each entry, including touch sensors, vision, and movement. Robo Sapien and other Wowie toys were designed with biomechanics in mind rather than common robot toy designs, like having wheels at the bottom of the feet for movement. And what resulted from this commitment was a very articulated functional design. But this time around, I don't jack sh about this guy. This is Robo Sapien. The first in Wowie and Tilden's line of consumer robots was Robo Sapien. This buddy here was released in quarter one of 2004, just a few weeks before the release of Shrek 2. All right, let's get, oh, this thing's huge. Am I gonna need a knife for this? It's almost like they are sealing it. Okay, here we go. There's more tape. Oh my God, how do you open this? That's not how that works. Is there more f***ing tape? Oh my god! Holy s***, are you kidding me? I just don't care anymore. Holy s***, there's... I just wanna play with this robot. I've been waiting 20 years. Oh, Robo Sapien! Here he is! There he is! I'm so happy. 
All right, thank you so much for watching this video. When comparing it to similar robotic toys from the time, I think the appeal of Robo Sapien is immediately evident. I mean, Botster here is pretty dope, let's not lie, but Robo Sapien looks more serious. He's Mr. Robert Sapien to you. Not only is it a lot heavier, but its movements are far more complicated than any other robot toy that came before it. He's excited. <laughs> it's the first time he's been out to be played with in years. If this goes by Toy Story logic, this is like the biggest moment of his life. Are his hands wrapped? One of them is. Oh yeah. Do you know why? They have to do this to prevent you from getting killed. Like, you know when you go pick up lobsters? <laughs> <laughs> I like the grocery store. All right, let's get this buddy on. The most impressive part is it actually walks as opposed to moving using wheels on the bottom of its feet. Although it'd be wrong to say it has an elegant gait, it's more like a violent waddle forward. And let me see what you have. I'm going. No! Unlike many other robot toys at the time, Robo Sapien is primarily remote controlled via the remote controller. In total, there are 67 different functions you can play around with, which can be selected through cycling through the different buttons on the remote. Of course, Robo Sapien is known for his personality. He burps, he farts, he screams screams when you wake up. Every review from the time comments on how innovative his raunchy personality was, but let's be honest, Robo Sapien was just copying what he saw on TV. One thing which makes Robo Sapien retain my attention is the program button. Instead of just controlling individual actions, you can pre-program a string of up to 14 different actions that Robo Sapien will act out. It's a really neat way to bring strategy and planning to a toy. It's a great trial and error system. But unfortunately, as soon as you turn Robo Sapien off, he forgets all the programming that you programmed into him. The next line of Wowie robots would feature some cross communication. There was Robo Sapien V2, which retailed for nearly twice the price of Robo Sapien. It was significantly taller, capable of more speech patterns and movement, with it being marketed on its ability to bowl. It had big ol' hands, bowling hands. The rake, I hope. There was also Robo Reptile and some Robo Puppies for the Robo line to interact with. But if Robo Sapien is a bit too cuddly for you, because let's be honest, this is Baymax after going to the the gym, you could go with the hella fierce, hella cool, hella edgy, hella ferocious Robo Raptor. Oh wow, she's beautiful. What's up, girl? I love this. I love this. Is my favorite thing I've ever seen. If any of these toys captured the attention of my child brain for a prolonged period of time, it was absolutely Robo Raptor. I mean, no one guarded the sharper image as ferociously and as diligently as this sweet baby. <laughs> Like Robo Sapien, Robo Raptor doesn't have wheels, and it even has different speeds depending on how many times you click in a direction. Hey, let's stop you right there. I get that, like, being a dinosaur, the, the thing that's in right now is being extinct, but let's not get off that table. Robo Raptor is powered by five motors, and you can interact with it via multiple touch sensors on its chin, back, tail, and mouth. Turning this thing on for the first time is incredibly impressive. I just barely missed the shot here, but Pumpkin here went to go check out his new baby sister, and they both started sniffing each other. It was really surreal, because I knew nothing about this thing's functionality when buying it. Going through all of these different Wowie robots, you can really see the technology advancing. While Robo Robo Sapien was primarily remote controlled. A big part of Robo Raptor is how automated it is, acting more like a real pet. One. I get to have one finally. Hey, slow down, girl. Thank you. Teenage rebellion. Go target mode. What is that? <laughs> Because of the variety of sensors, Roboraptor can sense you petting it. The toy has four different mood settings, which determines how it will act when you try to interact with it. It may bite you, or if it's feeling playful, it'll just start smelling you. It's really, really cute. It's just they don't want to be fed. They want to hunt. I love dinosaurs <laughs> so much. Robo Sapien and Robo Raptor were both a smash hit, being the biggest toys of their respective holiday seasons. But there are quite a few more Wowie robots that I didn't get my hands on for this video. There's Fem Sapien, who looks like a robot from a futuristic Austin Powers movie, a Robo MP3 player, which I definitely want to try to get my hands on, and another toy I totally remember seeing as a kid Wowie's Alive Line, featuring a realistic chimpanzee face. In case you want a lifelike, chimp-like companion. <laughs> Not to mention the special editions of Robo Sapien like the Spider-Man Robo Sapien and the horrendous, all too awful Homer Sapien. 
<sighs> released to coincide with the Simpsons movie. Blow up the hospital. Well, maybe not as commercially appealing as Robo Sapien or Robo Raptor. I think the most impressive Wowie robot I got for this video is absolutely Robo Quad. All right, let's turn you on. Are you okay? <laughs> you are queaked out, my dude. He's my favorite. Yeah, I'm a... Can I keep this one? <laughs> is he looking at you? Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> kill you. <laughs> you better back up. Here, I'm gonna be a pumpkin. This thing's scaring the <laughs> out of me. Let's give you awareness. Cause like, I can change the motions. Not very aware. Don't you f***ing look at me. Robocod is the most articulate and mobile of Wowie's line of RC walkers. Described as a true robotic arthropod, Robocod's body is incredibly high quality and incredibly articulate. It's able to move all four legs individually, its neck and its head. And that may be really impressive, but that's not even the most interesting part. It's always looking around the room and making animal-like beeps and boops and the occasional ah! Advancing from the last two, Roboquad has an impressively complex string of deep vision IR and auditorial sensors designed to help Roboquad avoid obstacles while in automated mode, but it never thinks to look down. Nah, he's still grooving. You know what? This is time for floor. The, the table could not contain this like... What is going on? Are you okay? He wiggled. I'm a fan. There's even a complex emotional system with different settings for its aggression, attentiveness, and activity. Roboquad can be put into guard mode, which makes an alert noise every time someone walks in front of it. It's got programming capabilities too, with 72 different actions. This thing is impressive, so much so that it shocked me and threw me off when I saw it for the first time. Like the jump in lifelikeness from Roboraptor to Roboquad is impressive and exponential. Oh, it's turning, it's turning this way. But it's dope. I totally let these things take over the world and rule me with an iron fist. Like, hell yeah. Just make sure you give the mega squids a turn when they're up. I present to you Robo Sapien Blue. Blue Tooth. This came out in uh, 2014, and it's a reprinting of the original Robo Sapien, except this time, it works with your phone. Look at this, two pieces of tape. All right, I take it back. This is like, the best version of this toy. Look at that. Look how easy that was. Look how slick he's looking. Dang, Robo Sapien. Yeah, and he's got like a nice, a better finish. So clearly this looks like it was made from the same mold. Yeah, it's the same exact. If they were gonna update this literally 10 years later, don't you think rechargeable batteries might've been a good addition? Like, you can't get away from the D batteries. Although Robo Sapien Blue can't do much more than regular Robo Sapien, connecting it to the phone automatically makes it so much better because all the actions are labeled, meaning doing more complex motions and keeping track of your pre-programmed string of actions is a whole lot easier. All right, let's see if you can bring that drink to me. Oh yeah, no sh you said ow. Fart? He I think he farted. Uh -oh. <laughs> I don't like you. Oh, pick up. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's give him something. All right, left arm pick up. Is this the left arm? Yes. No. Tilt right. Tilt left. Lean forward. Oh my God, this is so much better when everything's labeled. What's up, buddy? You listening? <laughs> oh. I literally moved it out of its grip. All right, let's uh. All 
All right, let's give it. Let's give it a little throw. <laughs> <laughs> They also made Robo Raptor blue. I want it. Uh, my bull is immeasurable. Wowie robots have had an incredibly long lifespan, and I definitely think part of that is because they appeal to such a wide audience. They're cool enough for kids and interesting enough for anyone else who's curious. But one thing that has made the lifespan of these toys so long is the fact that they're really, really hacker friendly. Custom cameras, GPS for long range controls, and internal computer updates are all common in the Robo Sapien hacking community. This one has a flamethrower. I think when looking through the canon of robotic toys, it's pretty clear that Wow Wii was pretty on top of the game. Yo, they made a minion robot? Sick! With affordable and interesting designs, it's sort of living proof that toys aren't going away, but rather they needed to evolve in ways that made them more interesting. And that evolution inevitably led to a robot that farts. Innovation. No breathing. This is our last resort. Just a reminder, this video is sponsored by Trade. Click the link in the description to get 30% off of your first bag when you sign up. Free shipping is included. Hey, if this is your first video of mine, consider subscribing. You can follow me on social media down below. What other weird robotic toys or just toys or TV shows or anything else would you like me to look at? I'm trying to plan out my future videos and it would help to know what you guys are interested in. Uh, other than that, I'm tired, I'm stressed. I'll, I'll see you guys soon, next week maybe. Yeah, let's do next week.